Did you know that coffee came to India only in the 16th century? The story of this heady brew's travel from Africa to Middle East and then to India is very interesting. According to legend, coffee was first discovered by a shepherd in Ethiopia when he realized that some of his sheep seemed even more energetic compared to others after eating a particular berry, the coffee. There is no proof of this, but we know that over the centuries, coffee became extremely popular in the Arab world. But coffee was introduced to India more than 400 years ago in the most interesting way. It was brought in by a Sufi saint, Baba Budhan, who picked up a few seeds of coffee while on his way back from Mecca from the port of Mocha in Yemen. Back home, he planted the seeds on the slopes of the Chandragiri hills near the caves where he had settled and started the production of coffee. By the 17th century, coffee had become a popular drink among upper class Indians. It was a very important part of everyday life in the Mughal cities. There were numerous kawa khanas or coffee houses in Shah Jahanabad. References were also made to coffee drinking in India by visiting Europeans. Unfortunately, with the decline in the Mughal power and the rise of the British, who were primarily tea drinkers, the coffee culture of Mughal India collapsed. Ironically, it was the British who established the Arabica coffee plantations across the mountains of southern India and, with this help of the British East India Company, coffee regained its popularity in India after 200 years. By the middle of the 19th century, coffee was being served at the many upscale clubs that sprouted across India. Today, India is the sixth largest producer of coffee in the world and is home to 16 unique varieties.